Liquefaction and dynamic separation are processes that may affect solid bulk cargoes and can tragically result in loss of life. In recent years there have been 18 incidents where vessels have capsized, with 184 lives lost. On other vessels, the resultant change in cargo condition has led to listing and reduced stability. Although listing ships have made it safely to a port of refuge, Tragically, in one case, a crew member died during evacuation. Cargo can look dry when loaded, but may contain sufficient moisture to become fluid or form a liquid slurry above solid material. In either case, this can seriously affect the ship's stability. In some cases, it can happen very quickly with little warning and lead to a catastrophic loss of stability and rapid capsize. So, how do we identify potentially dangerous cargo? A simple test that can be carried out to determine if a cargo may be unsafe is the CAN test, which is explained in the IMSBC code. Any cargo containing a large proportion of fine particles may be tested. All cargoes which have been declared by the shippers as a Group A risk shall be subject to regular testing. Although a CAN test would normally be carried out by a surveyor or deck officer, it is the responsibility of the whole crew to ensure that all tests are carried out using the correct procedure and the results are assessed correctly. A CAN test must be carried out as follows. Half fill a cylindrical can or similar container between half a litre and a litre in capacity with a sample of the material. The container must be rigid and not fragile. Using a metal container of sufficient wall thickness is required. Take the can in one hand and bring it down sharply to strike a hard surface, such as a solid table, from a height of about 20 centimetres. Repeat the procedure 25 times at one or two second intervals. Examine the surface for free moisture or fluid conditions. This is an example of a successful can test. As you can see, the particles of the materials have remained dry and free and haven't flattened out. Here is an example of a clearly failed can test. As seen, moisture is clearly visible. There shouldn't be any visible moisture in the can. Even a shiny appearance is a sign of possible moisture. If in doubt, consult with your P&I club. If the can test fails and a free moisture or a fluid condition appears, arrangements should be made to have additional laboratory tests conducted on the material before it is accepted for loading. If samples remain dry following a can test, there is still a risk that the cargo may contain excessive moisture. If there are other signs of excessive moisture, such as free water appearing in the stow or mud-like appearance or splash marks in the hold, the cargo needs additional laboratory testing. Always use the CAN test to check Group A cargoes and those with a high proportion of fine material. If in doubt, stop loading, verify the safety of cargo. Only once cargo has been confirmed as safe should loading resume.